Three, that's how many seconds it takes to create a natural vision aid. Two, that's how many steps are involved. And one, that's how many times you have to watch this video to truly master this simple skill. Hey friends, Shane from Modern Warrior Project here. And in this video, I'm gonna show you a hack that in the most extreme of cases could save your life, uh, but more often than not will come in as an amazing everyday hack for you. If you have any form of farsightedness, you've probably had those moments where you need to read something really important and the text is all blurry or your arms can't stretch any further to bring it into focus. For a lot of us, that's when you start to realize, hey, I need to start carrying a pair of reading glasses and if you're like me, more often than not, they're never around when you need them. Well, I've got an amazing simple solution that really works. And what's amazing is it uses nothing other than your own hand. So stick around because it really might make the difference between being able to read a map, call signs, or even something as simple as a price tag at the store when you don't have your glasses. So this hack utilizes what's called the pinhole effect. And when I first heard about this, I thought it was one of those practical jokes that has you doing some kind of weird movements to make you look like an idiot. But it's not and I promise you it really works. All right, so here's how you do it. You wanna start by closing one eye, and essentially what we're gonna do is we're gonna try and create a window for our other eye to look through. The easy, there's a number of ways to do this. The easiest way I found is I make like the okay symbol, and I'm gonna bring it tighter and smaller as I bring it into my eye and focus through it, making that hole as small as I can that I'm looking through, and then I just use that kind of like a little periscope or magnifying glass, if you will, at whatever it is I'm trying to see or read. It really is that simple and it really does work. So you're probably wondering how this works, especially if you haven't already tried it. If you've tried it, you believe it, you know it works. However, you're still probably wondering how. And there's some pretty cool science behind that. And so let's go ahead and dive into it and discuss it. So our eyes work by focusing light in through our retina, which is kind of like a screen at the back of your eye. It captures that light, forms an image that your brain can interpret. However, when you're farsighted, things get a little bit out of whack, and so that light doesn't hit the retina right, and it causes everything to look blurry. Now, here's where our hand comes in. When you make that symbol, you make that hole, you're limiting the amount of light and creating what's called a pinhole effect. Kind of similar to old-fashioned old, ca old -fashioned cameras. They limit the amount of light that comes in, and that reduces something called spherical aberration. So let me break down that term a little bit. It's kind of like uh, if you imagine trying to fill up a bucket with a fire hose, water's going to go everywhere. When you're far side of this, kind of what happens. Light comes in, it just flushes out, it goes everywhere, makes everything blurry. However, if we change it up to a smaller hose, we can direct that water in there better. Same thing with our hand lens. We can direct that light and give us a clearer image, if you will. The pinhole effect also increases something in photography called the depth of field, and that's the range and distance that a, an image comes in sharp focus. By limiting the aperture, the, the hole that the light goes through, we are allowing ourselves a better distance range for sharper focus. Here's a little extra tip for you too. This doesn't just work with farsightedness, it works with nearsightedness as well. The pinhole effects basically reduces the retinal blur, and so it doesn't matter where your eye is focusing, it can create and provide a sharper image. That's all there is to it. It's simple, it's that easy. Obviously, this isn't something that you'd want to plan on using, i.e. I'll leave my glasses at home and just, you know, plan this into it. Absolutely not. However, it's a great thing to have and understand and know. So what I encourage you to do is after you hop off here, spend one, two minutes tops and you'll be a master at this and you'll know it. You have it in that survival toolbox if you ever need it again. And one more tool for you. Till next time, stay safe, stay prepared.